Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add UI interactions to buttons without scripting. In this video, that is basically just a self plug in for my new plugin. Bruh. So the first thing you need to do is actually download the plugin. So this is my plugin, it's completely free and you're just gonna go ahead and install it. Now my plugin is currently in beta, so if there are any bugs that you find, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to fix them. Anyway, once you have my plugin installed in Roblox Studio, you can go to the plugins tab on the top of the screen and you should see my plugin right here or somewhere. Once you find it, you can go ahead and click on it and that will open up this little panel thing. So this is the customization UI. But this UI allows you to customize some properties that I'll go over right now. So the hover size is how big the button grows when you hover over it. So you can see the default hover size is 1.1 times its size. So when you hover over the button, it's going to grow to 1.1 times its size or however big you set this to. And the tween time is how much time in seconds it's going to take to get to that size. So you can see right now it takes 0.2 seconds to grow to its hover size and 0.2 seconds when you click it. So this sets the tween time for all the animations. So you can go ahead and set this to whatever you want. I personally like the default size and the default tween time. Also, there is a bug with Roblox that makes it really, really hard to script to do math with small numbers. So since 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 this is being added by 0.05 or integers of 0.05 uh roblox somehow miscalculates i don't know how that works but roblox is really bad at math so that's why it's off a little bit so once you have the customization that you like you're going to go ahead and select all the buttons that you want this to be added to so i can select like two buttons and it'll be added into both of these and then you click generate and you can see that the script was added into both of these buttons. You can read through it if you want to. I promise you it's completely safe. Please note that in replicated storage, a module script was added as well. This is important for the plugin and you can't delete it. Well, you could, but as soon as you play the game, it's going to be back in there because that is essential for the plugin to work. You could read through that as well if you want to. But now if we play the game, you can see that the button works and all the correct properties are assigned. And I think it looks pretty good. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you find my plugin useful. You can download my plugin in the description or in the pinned comment. Bye.